Hello and welcome to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Kaylee, and on this channel we cover all things true crime, travel, lifestyle, and just generalized vlogs. Lately though, I have been absolutely obsessed with our Outlander content and it is just it's trying to keep me sane through Droughtlander. Now, if you are a massive Outlander fan like myself, today's video is full of spoilers. If you are a fan only of the TV version of Outlander and you have not been able to read the books yet or you're not interested in reading the books, then this video is full of spoilers. Again, I say warning, warning, warning. Uh, we're going to go through the new actors that have been cast for the Christie's and what their roles are, well, at least what their roles were in the books. So we know that the show itself is starting to deviate a little bit away from the books, in a few cases, majorly away from the books. But I want to go through the timeline of events for the Christie's in the books. Now, this might be a, you know, this could jump from one to two books, so to say. But it'll give you a generalised idea of what is coming. Again, I say, please don't watch this if you don't want to know. The summary I'm about to go through also is not the full extent. We all know as readers there is many details that are in books that I just, I wouldn't have time to sit here and go through every little thing that happens with the Christie's, but I'm definitely going to go through the main outcomes and the, the main storylines of what happens to the Christie's in the books. Playing the role of Thomas Christie is Mark Lewis Jones. Now he is a Welsh actor um, and some of his most recent work has been in Star Wars and The Last Jedi, I think it was, and also Gangs of London in 2020. So this guy, he, and to me, he fits the bill perfectly. He really, this is, this is what I, well, very similar to what I imagine Thomas Christie would already have looked like. So this is spot on for me. I'm playing Thomas Christie. And so there's a bit of history between uh, Jamie Fraser and myself. Uh, we were at Ardsmuir together. And you were the best friends, were you? No. Tom Christie was a part of the Jacobite Rising and he was captured and taken to Ardsmuir Prison. Again, excuse me if I don't get any pronunciation correct because I'm shocking at pronunciation, but he gets captured and taken to Ardsmuir Prison. And that is in 1752. A year later, Jamie arrives and they start off a very rocky start. Actually, no, Mark was Welsh, so I started to speak to him offset. Scottish accents on point, absolutely perfect. That's good. Better than mine, <laughs> which wouldn't be hard. Throughout their time together in prison, they have religious differences, let's just say. But eventually that does simmer down throughout their time in prison. Now, before Tom actually went to prison, he had a wife called Mona and they had a son called Alan. But while he is in prison, he receives word from his wife that she has now had another child, a little girl called Mulva. Mulva's father is actually Edgar, who is Tom's brother. Mona then kills Edgar and she is hung for his murder. The children are then taken and go and live with Edgar's wife. Now, when everyone is released from the prison and sent into different uh, servitude areas, Tom ends up going to the colonies. He is uh, taken on under the wing, basically, of Mr. Everett, and he also allows Tom to get access to his children, and they're sent from Edinburgh over to the colonies to be all together. Tom does marry again, but unfortunately his wife and his employer, they perish and pass away. So Tom starts heading towards Fraser's Ridge. I'm going to go through the rest of Tom's story in a little bit, but we need to introduce the next character, who is Mulva Christie. Mulva is being played by Jessica Reynolds, and I think Jessica is a bit of a new face. I mean, obviously she won't be brand new, but to us here in Australia, she's a new face. So I have looked her up and the most recent uh, television series I could find her in was something called My Left Nut, which was on the BBC. Um, I, again, though, they have cast her wonderfully. When I think of Mulva, this is the... It's not perfect for me, but it is very close to what I have envisioned as Mulva Christie. Hi. Hello. So this is Jessica and... 
Who are you playing, Jessica? So I'm playing Malva Christie and one third of the Christie family. So I'm very excited to see how Jessica steps into the boots of Malva because this she has a lot to sort of get through with the character of Malva. Okay, now we already know a little bit of Mulva's backstory. She is not Tom's biological daughter and is actually his niece, but Tom raises her as his daughter. And of course, now they've traveled to the Carolinas and they're here on the ridge. This is where she meets Claire and basically becomes an apprentice to Claire. She's fascinated with the medicine side of things and wants to learn... You know, all of basically Claire is a role model and idol to Mulva. She's kind of in awe of Claire. I think when she gets to the ridge, she's heard so much about Jamie and she expects him to kind of be the hero of her story. And then she sees she sees the woman and she's like, oh no, I'm more interested in that. There's an Whilst they are all on the ridge though, illness spreads through the colony basically and everybody starts getting sick. This includes Claire and Tom, but we later discover that their illness is a little different. Claire was in fact poisoned. Obviously, Claire survives this poisoning and we do later find out who done it. In fact, it was Mulva. During this timeline of events, Mulva also comes out and says that she is pregnant. When she is questioned on who the father is, she declares that the father is Jamie. I'm sure you can all imagine the uproar that happens and basically we have a bit of a storyline there. Obviously Jamie is not the baby's father and it sort of that leads out along the way. Then we find out that Mulva has been killed. Well, poor Claire, she finds Mulva dead in the lettuce patch. Now Mulva, she had had her throat cut but Claire knew that the baby was still alive and so she performed an emergency C-section. Unfortunately, Mulva and the baby both die um, at the time and it just, it just doesn't go well for poor Claire. Claire is found leaning over the body and basically is accused of murder. Tom later comes forth and confesses to the murder of Mulva, even though we find out he did not do it. Once Tom confesses to murdering Mulva, he has a private conversation with Claire. Now, remember, she was still in custody at this time when he has come forth to basically confess, even though, again, he didn't do it. Um, he basically says that he knew that Mulva was, you know, like her mother and a temptress and luring men in and things like that. Tom also knew that Mulva was the one that had poisoned Claire and possibly himself. So he knew that Mulva was, you know, she was up to no good. But this is where it gets a little bit interesting again. Uh, Tom comes forth and declares that he was the murderer instead of Claire. Again, he didn't do it because he was in love with Claire. Now, Alan Christie has definitely not been forgotten in this video. Uh, he is being played by Alexandra Vlahos, who is another Welsh actor who recently starred in the TV series Bang back in 2020. Hello, my name is Alexandra Vlahos, and I have the absolute honour of playing Alan Christie in Outlander. Growing up, Alan was very protective of Mulva, and there are many scenes throughout the books that demonstrate this and show he's very protective of Mulva. Uh, to the point where he's probably a little bit too close to Mulva. They, in fact, have a sexual relationship and basically Alan is the father of Mulva's baby. Alan then also comes up with the plan to tell everyone that it's Jamie's in the hopes that Mulva will basically be able to come the, you know, the heiress of the ridge, basically, and they will be able to cover up the fact that they will have a child together. Now, Mulva, she initially goes along with the plan, but she has a change of mind, which causes Alan to kill her. Those of you who have read the books know that Alan has a very uh, dark history, but he's also trying to find his way in the world. He's come over to the Settlers and to Fraser's Ridge to try and take a claim of a little bit of his own manhood, I guess, trying to be, trying to emulate his father, trying to... Uh, following his father's footsteps. Now in 1776, so the following year, Alan returns to Mulver's grave site and Claire is there visiting Mulver's grave. Um, he declares that he would like to kill himself and end his own life and Claire tries to talk him out of it and, you know, say it's not worth it, blah, blah, blah. But unbeknownst to both of them, Ian is not far away and decides to end Alan's life then and there. 
With Tom Christie being the last Christie standing at this point, uh, he is arrested for the murder of Mulva. But he is placed into the secretary position for a governor because he's such a learned man. Now, throughout the storyline, he eventually gets uh, basically dumped on the shoreline and he he's you know he starts living his life again. He does come back in contact with Claire and he explains pretty much everything that has happened and his love for her. One of the final scenes with Thomas Christie is him kissing Claire on the hand and he walks away. Now, a fun little side note. Do you want to know who put the article in the paper about the fire which, you know, brought Brie back from the future to the past? Thank you, Thomas Christie. Now, we all know that everything in this video may or may not happen in the TV series. Uh, who knows? Who actually knows? Until we see it week to week, I never know what to expect, especially after they changed Murta. I mean, I'm all for change. I don't mind if things vary from the book because I understand not everything, you know, it's just, it just physically can't all happen from the books to the TV series. So I'm completely fine with any adjustments as long as the core aspect of the books is respected. Um, I, I cannot wait to see how the Christie's settle in, in it, it, like, it's just, I'm very excited. If you have not hit that subscribe button, please consider hitting it and follow us along on our Outlander journey. We are going to bring Outlander content to you every single week throughout Droughtlander, which I hope is not forever. <laughs> we all know season six is in production, so I cannot wait. But I know, like, who actually knows how long it is going to be? But until then, I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye. Come, in. Come, Come on in. Come I on wanted in. to welcome the Christians. Now the <laughs> oh. the I want the attention. <laughs>